Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop and I am going to be showing you how to replace colors in Photoshop. So I have imported an image of a car here and it is a yellow slash orange color. And I have chosen this image because I, it's going to be a little more difficult and I'm going to be able to show you exactly the full range of tools you have to replace colors within Photoshop. So I want to change the color of this car to be something a little more uh, bright and a little more different. So what I have to do is go up to image. So you want to select image and then go to adjustments. Once you are under adjustments, you will then go all the way down to the bottom until you see replace color. Click on replace color. Once you have done that, you will see the replace color box come available to you. Now, you want to take the eyedropper tool and select a color that you want to replace. So I went ahead and clicked on a yellow color here, which is one of the top colors on the car. Now, you do not want to select one of these highlights here as you see reflections off the vehicle. If you do select one of those highlights, it'll select all of the whites that are in the entire picture and that will not get the desired effect. So you want to select a yellow, you know, whatever color your image is, select a deep color. Now, in order to select the entire color range of this vehicle, because there are some dark yellows and oranges as well as some brighter ones, I will take my eyedropper and I will actually hold down the shift key and a little addition symbol will come, come up right beside my eyedropper tool. I will then, as I'm holding down shift, click on my mouse and hold down and drag until I select some colors within the vehicle. So I'm getting the light colors as well as some of the darker colors. So I have dragged my cursor all the way down and I have tried to get as much of the colors in the car as possible. If you look over at my selection, I have done a fairly good job at selecting you know, the majority of the colors that I want to change. Now, this fuzziness option up here will actually allow you to increase a little bit of what you selected. So if you take the fuzziness down, it will remove some of the selection. But if you take the fuzziness up, it will normally add a little bit of the colors that you want it to add. So I normally take the fuzziness to around 125 to 130, and that's you know, a pretty good selection of my color. Now, once I have done that, I can actually go down here to the hue and the replacement option, and I can drag this slider to the left or to the right. So let's go ahead and drag this slider all the way to the left. And now, as you see, the car has now changed to be some type of a bright pink and a dark red color. So now you can see some of the colors that I have missed are down here towards the end or the bottom of the car. So what I do now is I take my hue option, I drag it all the way back to zero, and I know that I need to change some of these colors down here. So I will once again hold my shift key, and I will click and hold, and up, oh, look, look what happened there. When I selected that, it actually, you know, grab some of the picture. So what I want to do now is I'm going to try to reduce the fuzziness. So I'm going to take it down a little bit now that I know that I've got that selection. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the eyedropper that has the subtract from sample option. So I'm going to click on that there. And I noticed I got a little bit of this guy's leg here. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to remove that. And as I do that, if you look, it's removing some of the car as well. And that is okay. You can always go back in and select the colors once again. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the addition symbol one more time. And I'm going to hold down shift. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select as much of that color range as I possibly can. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And if I need to, I will re reduce the fuzziness as much as possible. Now, if I drag the hue and saturation, you can see now I'm missing some of the bright colors. And then I am also changing the hue and color of this guy's skin over here. And that is not at all what I want to do. So I'm showing you this to tell you this is not an easy task. And you have to be very good at selecting the color range. If you are not, you will be in trouble. So if you get into 
into a situation where you start selecting too much color, go ahead and click on the regular eyedropper tool and then select the yellow that you want and start over. So once I have done that, I will then hold down shift and I will take the eyedropper tool and I will drag it down until I get as much of the selection as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and redo that one more time. Hold down the shift key and drag all the way down until you've got as much of the vehicle as you can and then up the fuzziness to try to get a little bit that you may have missed. Now again, you can go to the hue and saturation column and you can actually change the color of this vehicle. Now, as you see here, I have pretty much got the effect that I wanted. I now can drag the hue column or the hue, you know, option here and change the color of this vehicle. So this is a really neat way of replacing color within Photoshop. It's a very difficult task if you have an image such as this with a lot of reflections and a lot of highlights in the image. But if you need to, you can always go up to image adjustment highlights and take down the highlights to make it easier on you. So guys, this has been a tutorial on how to replace color within Adobe Photoshop. If you have any questions on how to go about doing that, go ahead and put them in the comment box below below. If not, go ahead and like this video. And if you want more videos such as this, subscribe to my YouTube channel for this kind of glorious tutorial. And I will see you guys next time.